Good evening, Scott's Chapel and all those out there in Zoom and Facebook land and YouTube. This is Pastor Jenkins, and we're going to begin our Bible teaching moment. And with that, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, this is the week of Thanksgiving, and it's not just the week of Thanksgiving, but we should be thankful each and every day for what God has done. And we're going to discuss some of the uh, information about that that the scripture gives us throughout the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. But we should live a thankful life for what God has given unto us, for everything comes from the Lord. And we're going to find that out as we go through those particular scriptures. But before we get in, just a little housekeeping. And we got a lot of stuff on our plate that's coming up. We're trying to get back into that building in December. And God willing, we will. And we're going to praise and be thankful and worship the Lord. So we got our church conference coming up on December the 5th. Uh, it's 11.45 a.m. right after the morning service on Zoom. So be tuned in and get that information out to everybody. Also, we done already delivered over 20 uh, food baskets for Thanksgiving and uh, Thanksgiving dinner. We're getting ready to prepare for our Christmas baskets and Christmas dinners that goes out to the, the families that are in need. So get all that ready and start praying that we can uh, change some lives and help somebody along the way. And also, please, please, my brothers and sisters, would you please tell others about our Facebook, Zoom, and YouTube. The descriptions are going to be in on the links on our YouTube, so just pass that on with that information. Also in that information is how you express your thanks by giving to God what is due to him. We have Giblify on our platform. We have Cash App, and you can even come by on Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and somebody will be there to receive that which you have for the Lord. And the last thing I want you to do is to please subscribe, like, share, pass it on to some, some of your uh, friends that's on Facebook and also uh, everybody that you know and write in the comments because I can only see the views. I can't see who is benefiting or enjoying or praying with me unless you type something in like amen and then that's I'll know it's you. So God bless you, and we want to keep moving forward, loving God, loving others, and loving ourselves. And that's going to be our focus for this uh, new season that we're in. So with that, I want you to turn with me into with your Bibles to Psalm 100. Psalms 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise and give thanks to him and praise his name. Why? For the Lord is good. His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Enter in his gates with thanksgiving. And that's what we're talking about, living a thankful life. Living a thankful life. That psalm is a psalm for giving grateful praise for what God has done in our lives. God has done some great things. You know, and we're free to come to him to the throne of grace, pr present our needs and requests. But I, this, these passages are going to remind us that we need to be praising him. We need to be worshiping the Lord with gladness and coming before him with our praise understanding who he is, knowing that he is our God. 
He is the one that made us. He is the one that gave, given us everything. And we should enter with thanksgiving in our hearts. Uh, these other passages I want you to check out is to live a thankful life. We have to understand why we give God thanks. And why we give God thanks can be found in Colossians chapter 3. So as we turn to Colossians chapter 3, Beginning at verse 1, since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Verses 1 through 3 gives us a uh, why. We do it because we have been raised in the newness of life. We have been given eternal life by God the Father through Jesus Christ our Lord. And since we have been doing that, our hearts have been changed and our hearts need to be set firmly on that love that he has given us and what he has given us and to be and respond with thanksgiving in our hearts. For we have died to the past. We have died to those things that are wrong. We have died to those things that are negative and we have been set right with him. And then here will, uh, Paul goes on throughout this particular chapter and saying then we need to put to death therefore all that earthly nature, all the stuff that was in the past because the wrath of God is coming. We used to walk in, the, in those ways, but now we must live a life free from such things, being angry and all this mess that's going on, lying. He says, put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge of the image of his creator. So when you get down to verse 12, it's going to tell us the how-tos. The how is, therefore, is God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. And that's another reason why we give God thanks is because we, we have been chosen by God and we are holy. We have been set apart. We have been redeemed and we are loved. We have the love of God with us each and every moment. So it says, call for yourself with compassion kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience in verse 12. Verse 13 says, if we're thankful and we're living this life of, of a thankful life, bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you have a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. That's being thankful. And over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. And watch this, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts and whatever you do. When I see that in verse 17, whatever you do, that means my whole life, living a thankful life, whatever you do in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So to live a thankful life. That's what we must do. We must do what Paul is uh, admonishing us to do through the scriptures here. And if you would, turn to Philippians chapter 4. It gives us another aspect of how we live a thankful life. Verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. That verse 4 as similar to what 
uh, Psalms 100 was saying that we're to do enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and give thanks to him and praise his name. We are to rejoice and praise God for waking us up. Praise God for what he has brought us through. Praise God that you're not, uh, you know, affected by the turmoil, the COVID, the finance and everything else. But even if you were, God has redeemed and moved you through and is holding you right now. We need to be thankful about that. And then Paul says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, watch this, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And then the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. Jesus. So living a thankful life is based upon who God is, what God has done for us, and that we are to rejoice in the Lord. Uh, Paul wrote to the Thessalonians in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15, uh, I believe it's 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So my brothers and sisters, this Thanksgiving is a reminder for us. Thanksgiving is each and every day. Each and every moment of every day. Every day we should shout for joy to the Lord. Every day we ought to worship the Lord with gladness. Always be in his presence and come before him with song. Know who we are and whose we are and that God made us and we are his. We are his people. We are his chosen royal priesthood. And he, is the sh and he is our shepherd. And we are the sheep of his pasture. We are to always give thanks. And come to his presence in courts with praise. And give thanks to him. And praise his holy name. For the Lord has been good. And his love endures forever. His faithfulness will continue throughout all generations, now and forevermore. Let the church say amen. God bless you. God smile upon you. And I'll see you soon. Happy Sunday.